The government of St. Lucia, understanding the importance of water storage in light of climate change, recently donated a total of 190 tanks to farmers across St. Lucia. The Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives noted that the initiative will benefit a great number of producers in implementing climate smart measures to ensure the sustainability of their enterprises. Minister Joseph expressed gratitude to all stakeholders involved in the procurement of water tanks for the farmers. I know resources are limited and I understand that, um, but let's see if we can um, at least scratch some more resources somewhere to see if we can get some more tanks. Especially knowing, like you said, it has been manufactured locally and the whole COVID environment that we're under right now is quite creating employment, stimulating economic activities in the country. So I want to see to Mr. Bryce, who is the the manufacturers of the tank, his company. Thank you very much. I'm sure there's some arrangements within him and your, your department. I want to say to the Department of Economic Development through you, Mr. Descartes. Thank you very much for considering in your repurposing of resources, considering agriculture. And I want to say to the young farmer here, continue the good works. Feel free to contact your extension officer. Work closely with your extension officer. Honorable Ezekiel Joseph explained that this initiative also forms part of the mandate of the Department of Agriculture to assist young farmers in becoming more efficient and sustainable. As a government, we have, under my leadership, we have done a lot to assist our farmers, especially our small farmers. I remembered we had what we call a youth in agricultural program. And my experience working with young farmers, they have two major challenges. And I say major marketing, which I'll speak to in a while, is another challenge. But two major challenges. One, the availability of resources for them to be able to um, invest in the initiatives that they have decided to go get involved in. And the other one is land. And that is why when we developed the Youth in Agricultural Program and we approached the Car CARICOM Development Fund to get grant funding of $3.2 million, that was the mindset we have. How can we assist our young farmers who are interested in agriculture and who we can, you know, educate and train in new technology because what we are realizing is that our agricultural land is diminishing, our population is increasing, our age of our farmers are getting older and older and we need to introduce young farmers into agriculture but how we assist them and that was the mindset and the thinking behind the initiative of the Youth in Agricultural Program. The Minister for Agriculture reaffirmed the Government of St. Lucia's commitment to ensuring a more resilient agricultural sector, whilst also enhancing livelihoods for rural farmers, with a focus on both livestock and crops. For the Information Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.